Hello everyone, Mike Grimple from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to delete either rows or columns that are either blank or that maybe meet a certain criteria in one of the rows or columns and you want to remove those rows or columns. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So first we're going to look at how to delete rows that meet a certain criteria. So in this case I have a little data set here and I have six different rows that have the name Tom in them and I want to delete those rows. So what I'm going to do is highlight the column A that has the names in it and I'm going to do a control F and I'm going to search for a name. Now I already had Tom filled in there but you would type in whatever name you have and I'm going to say find all and notice Excel produces a list down below of all the cells that have the name Tom and as I click through them you can see it goes to each one. This is a great way of finding things within your worksheet too. But if I click on the first and hold down my shift key and click on the last Notice it highlights all of them at once. At this point, I can close the Find and Replace dialog box and use the keyboard shortcut Control minus select entire row, say OK, and Excel now deleted every row that had the name Tom. Now, you can use the same for deleting columns. I'm going to select the data across my headers and again hit control F and do a find all for the name Tom and basically do the same thing hold down my shift key select them all I can close this now I can hit control minus and in this case select entire column say OK and now all the columns that had the name Tom as their header have now been deleted the next scenario is blanks let's say we have a data set that's just kind of riddled with blanks. They're randomly spaced, etc. There may be some that are grouped together. In this case, again, I'm going to highlight any one of the columns. It could be the first, any one that has a blank in it. And now I'm going to hit the F5 key that brings up the Go To dialog box. And I can click on Special or hit Alt S, and that brings up the Go To Special dialog box. And then I can choose blanks, or notice the K is underlined. I can hit Alt-K and then hit Enter, and notice it selected those cells that had blanks in them. Again, Control-minus, choose entire row, say OK, and now all those blank rows have been deleted. And again, the same thing for column. So let's say you have someone who loves to put a blank column uh, to separate each quarter, so again, you can do the same thing. I'm going to highlight the headers here. I'm going to hit F5, Alt-S, Alt-K, hit Enter, and now it highlighted all those cells, in this case three of them, that were blanks. Control-minus, go down to entire column, say OK, and now those blank columns have been deleted. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Excelling.